Preface of a Group of Noble Dames This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Libby Gone A Group of Noble Dames by Thomas Hardy Preface the pedigrees of our county families, arranged in diagrams on the pages of county histories, mostly appear at first sight to be as barren of any touch of nature as a table of logarithms. But, given a clue, the faintest tradition of what went on behind the scenes, and this dryness as of dust may be transformed into a palpitating drama. More, the careful comparison of dates alone, that of birth with marriage, of marriage with death, of one marriage, birth or death, with a kindred marriage, birth or death, will often effect the same transformation, and anybody practiced in raising images from such genealogies finds himself unconsciously filling into the framework the motives, passions, and personal qualities which would appear to be the single explanation possible of some extraordinary conjunction in times, events, and personages that occasionally marks these reticent family records. Out of such pedigrees and supplementary material, most of the following stories have arisen and taken shape. I would make this preface an opportunity of expressing my sense of the courtesy and kindness of several bright-eyed noble dames yet in the flesh, who, since the first publication of these tales in periodicals six or seven years ago, have given me interesting comments and conjectures on such of the narratives as they have recognized to be connected with their own families, residences, or traditions, in which they have shown a truly philosophic absence of prejudice in their regard of those incidents whose relations have tended more distinctly to dramatize than to eulogize their ancestors. The outlines they have also given of other singular events in their family histories, for use in a second group of noble dames, will, I fear, never reach the printing press through me, but I shall store them up in memory of my informant's good nature. T. H. June, 1896 End of Preface